Yo, what's good? J. Cool, aka the Purple Prince. Um, welcome to the channel. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, like the video also, you know what I'm saying? So you know when I get new videos. All that good stuff. But yeah, how about that 3 6 my thing that Bone Thugs versus, man? <laughs> Crazy, crazy, man. A lot of people popped up, bro. It was like, I was watching WWE, WWF. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where they used to call it when I was watching it. But yeah, man, everybody came out. They were busy ball through the mic, man. They was about to get into a fight. Yo, that was crazy. Like, he already set the tone. Like, he was setting the tone on social media. So I knew it was going to be some SHIT. I already knew, you know what I'm saying? My homeboy reminded me, he was like, hey, the verse is on, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, bad. So I tuned in, but I didn't actually catch when he threw it. I had caught, like, after he was gone and I was reading the comments. But um, I happened to watch it on Instagram Live. Um, I should have watched it on my Triller app because the feed kept pausing. It, it kept restarting. And I, mean, I took a few screenshots. I posted one. I was in there with Snoop. Everybody was in there interacting. Like I, I was saying, like, it was getting high school vibes, 10th grade vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like, for sure. For sure. Um, I was even in there with Holly Berry. Like, Holly Berry was, you know what I'm saying? I had posted something. I think she was, like, up under, like, somebody else. I, I posted something. It was somebody else. And then Holly Berry had posted something. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we was just interacting with the same part of the song, you know what I'm saying? I was just like that. And then the feed had cut him like that. But anyway, um, like yo, like Bone Thugs, they brought out um the young lady who was on their first single. Um, I can't remember her name. I don't even want to make no mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they brought out comedian there, they brought out a little flip. It three six mafia. They bought out um Gangsta Boo, La Chat, Project Pat, Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Best rapper alive, you know what I'm saying? Um who else they bought out, man? Um they bought out so many people, yo. You know what I'm saying? Um dudes, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy, you know what I'm saying, got that one track, Juicy J on that. It was it was just good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Then Busy Bone came out. Um, at first I was just thinking the dynamics was off, but everybody was on that bone flow. You know what I'm saying? And um Three Six Mafia had the club hits, but yeah, man, it was it was it was good for the culture. Um, very interactive in the room. Next time I'ma watch it, most definitely on the Triller app. Um, my buddy told me the only technical difficulty they had when they paused it um, after um, Busy throw the mic. But he came back out. He apologized on social media. You know what I'm saying? He just apologized. I come in and under that, I put 100. You know what I'm saying? He he came, you know what I mean, um, and realized whatever. But um, it was good. You know what I'm saying? Buck came out. I forgot it. Stay flat. You know what I'm saying? Young Buck. Um, a ball MJG. Like that was that was something in class. Like I was talking, I was like, where are they? You know what I'm saying? Then Buck came out. Wiz came out, you know what I'm saying? Um with Juicy J. My homie was like, he was thinking they would have did J's on my feet, but I'm like, it's kinda too popish. But Juicy J still did um the um the song with Katy Perry. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's as far as, you know what I'm saying, pop that he waited. He was, you know what I mean, kind of flexing like the 20, 20 million. So, you understand what I'm saying? So, just on that level, um, it was a very good match. And they answered back, Bone answered back with that Mariah Carey record. You know what I'm saying? And, um, they played the Bone record, you know what I mean? And they, uh, they was playing the Tupac sample kind of thing that they did. You know what I'm saying? So, like they had good answer records like later on um three six had the energy for sure because um 
you know, they, they, they some stoners. They the original stoners, you know what I mean? Um, as a group collectively. Three Six Mafia's on that crunk stuff. Everybody was getting, you know what I'm saying, messed up. So it was most definitely um, a dynamic star-studded matchup. You know, surprise, like, 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 surprise, like, it was very exciting. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed the verses. Um, Swiss Beats asked who we would like to see. I would like to see Usher versus um, Chris Brown, actually, you know what I mean, on the R&B tip, you know what I mean, just, you know, on, on their hits, you know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, who would y'all like to see in the verses? Did y'all see it? Um, did y'all enjoy it? What did y'all think? I really loved it, you know. I grew up on hip hop, you know, I'm a hip hop artist. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I really enjoy um that type of stuff. But yeah, y'all like, share, subscribe. It's J. Cole. Um, enjoy the video, you know what I'm saying? Um, like it, man. Um, just vibing, man. Three Six Mafia, Bone Thugs, they verses. It was epic, man. They probably right now in Cali doing the same thing we're doing right now, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody watching, man. Gonna keep rocking, man. Mr. Marley on the wall, you know what I'm saying? Crossroads, RIP Mr. Marley, RIP everybody we lost. Um, they ended with Crossroads. It was excellent. And see y'all next video. God bless.